The knee on him. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Mr. Strout, we didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Strout, you are so lucky. Our office is open. Just try to keep interruptions to a minimum. This is the Stroud Eklund business offices. We don't do sales here. If that's, that's what you're looking for. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise.
like getting zoned? I got what you mean. Ah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. And what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above just to use the elevators. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. You work for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'd like to help, but... Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. That depends on if you're hungry or thirsty. Come back soon.
was just saying how good it is to work with someone again. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Uh-huh. Right. I was just saying how good it is to work with someone again. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities, and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him. I suppose. Irvin Madani was my husband. He was also a brilliant biologist who joined Constellation a couple of years before me. Yeah, so he's gone now. <laughs> I... I remember his bright smiles when I returned from my trips. <laughs> Wow, more brilliant than any star. The war happened. He was caught in the crossfire between the UC and the Free Star Collective. It was right after he finished a job on Gagarin. Some terrible job, I don't remember. Statistically, that's certainly accurate, but it's not that much of a comfort. Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Oh, I've been giving myself nothing but space and time <laughs> for years. But maybe it's time for me to really think about it. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that offer later on, Captain. I need some time to think about things. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Yeah. <laughs> now is the best time. What's up? Take it easy. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. 
Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Oh, ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Not if I go broke. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe we can work something out. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Excellent choice. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. How unfortunate, but I will be here should you change your mind. Of course. Take your time. Enjoy the lounge. Catherine 
Lucian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, I'm right. Hysterical old broad. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money, I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Xenofresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. Sure, have a look. Watch your back out there. to chase if you have a moment say hello to my wife rose no problem i'm sure you'll find something you like Best deals in town.
Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I connect a lot of people with a lot of people, you know? Can't track them all. Rather be paid now. I hear you. What? Is that supposed to be funny or something? Eh, I'm done talking. Not getting more from me about any of this. Yes, let's. I've had enough, Rosa. Seagart. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. Fair enough. Just be careful when you're dealing with Siegert. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Let me know if we can make a deal. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were. I went that other place. Newell's Goods. We have everything you could possibly want. more posts in the area. Why bother? If they want to tear themselves to shreds. Stay focused. Who now is the best time? Talk. Stay out of trouble, or we'll have.
Well, out with it. Not that it's any of your business, but yes. I'm the administrator of Neon. Actually, there are a lot of perks that come with the job. But do you want to know my favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter, but that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, if you'd care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. Next time, don't bother me unless it's important. Devin Anastas has run into some trouble. Word to the wise? You don't want a piece of that. <laughs> if the gangs can keep from killing each other, I just might have a good day. It's time to see yourself through your life. Get out of my face. You want to gawk at something? Take it to the Astral Lab. This is the last run to me on however good James, I don't want you to get upset. We're fully stocked and ready to sell. But Administrator Bay, you came by while you were out. The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Siegert said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Tell everyone you know about our store. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. They're just kids having fun, James. Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Aurora isn't fun. It's a poison. And it needs to be taken off the streets. James, please, it's not There's just... a full line of equipment and accessories for all your hectic needs. Packaged food? If you're looking for supplies, this is the place.
Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. You're short on credits. You come back with a full amount, we'll talk. Making a purchase today? Thanks for stopping by our shop. We have everything you possibly Keep it moving. People joke, say those. Not busy? Let's chat. No. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. I think I need. Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you well, don't need it. Like a good idea. Great. I'll bring the blend. You bring the chunks. It's a date. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Thank you for noticing. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Even Dexler is head of Neon Security, but he is less concerned with crime than he is siphoning money from honest businesses. But it's not just him. All of Neon is corrupt. The only way to survive is to give in to their demands. Easy for him to say he doesn't have my debts. If I don't pay Dexler, I might lose my inventory. And if I lose my inventory, I'll lose my store.
And why is that? I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Ugh, you are a very difficult person. I don't. The man is as corrupt as they come. And that's saying something, given where we are. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexla his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to neon security on an empty stomach. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. Making a purchase today? If you have a moment, say hello to my wife, Rosa. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was talk to him? I don't doubt it. Like trying to wipe the slime off a chasm bass. Oh, let it go, hon. If Sieghart says he's in, that's all that matters. Yeah, I guess you got a point. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start. Appreciate the help. Hopefully next meeting, Dietrich will be there and everything will go smoothly. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. We even bother with that other place. Newell's goods. We have everything you could possibly... His Majesty decided to come down from his throne. If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Maybe I didn't. Yes, let's. We're fully stocked and ready to sell. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Had to chase more zone heads on it. Hey there, friend. Need something? Lucy's an actual city. It's hard to just wait around.
Welcome to Newell's.
the constellation. That'll hire someone like me. Mailbag ATMs are spread throughout the settled systems, so you can do your banking your own way. I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you. Is everything ready? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Imagine the pilot now isn't the best time. I need to talk with you. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Are they? <laughs> I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator.
was just saying how good it is to work with someone again. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined. Okay, All right. Looking to join a crew. Any openings? You good? What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. You're alive. It's what top performers are made of. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands. And we're not dead. How does that sound? That's why you're here. Hopefully our combined countenance will be enough, but grabbing the artifact and running is an option. Uh, just do me a favor and treat it as a last resort. I have a reputation. Word is the Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Not my problem. It is if you leave empty-handed. We came here in good faith. Now honor our previous agreement. You either figure out a way to give me what I want, or I walk out of here right now.
I'm not hearing here's the money. I'm on a tight timetable. And we would have wrapped up already if you hadn't gotten greedy. Our original offer stands. Now what's it going to be? Uh, I... Fine. This thing is all yours. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Sending armed men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting out you've enjoyed your time in the Astral Lounge. Lounge. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He squeezed a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters... The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. I'm gonna say this twice. Get the hell away from me. I wonder how deep the oak. I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. Oh, 
there does seem to be a hole in his schedule. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. You have a question, you can chat with the receptionist all you want. Wait. This clearly isn't your executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily count. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? For the moment, Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employers are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on.
carrying a lot. Now is the best time, but I need to talk with you. They're gone. God. Just gone.
You're gonna wear yourself out if you carry on. This is a private office. You're not busy? Let's chat. Hey, Captain. Need help with anything?
need it now. Coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top.
To the executive level. You're doing Constellation proud. Right. I was just saying how good it is to... Speaking of which, I'm glad you... Just figured I'd mention it, since we haven't had much time to chat before. You know, it's hard to imagine. I would have never done so many, and I never would have. Well, that's all I have, too. Right. I was just saying. Speaking of which, I'm glad. See you later.
busy? Let's chat. You're not supposed to be here. Just leave, okay? Uh, this is a private office. supposed to be here. Leave, okay? This is a private office. Hey, you're not supposed to be here.
get along. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top.
secure? Executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top.
how this ends. Take a moment to go through your things. Lighten the load. This through, huh?
hear me? Let's go! Ha! This never gets old! Where'd you go? Great. Well, can't take it.
require my assistance. Shotgun! Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. always the answer, then we just send credits instead of people. Well, I may not agree with every outcome, but you did everything to accomplish our goals and more. I don't often get a chance to work in the field. So, thank you. I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. Just knowing what you are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal rate. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance.
Right. Back to the lodge first, then review the data second. Then we'll listen to you. This now in best time. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone? Come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Demanding we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? None in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up. Huh. Another house for room. I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent, worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can including some way to fight them, if necessary. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. 
All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Do we actually need all that stuff? I hey, may uh, regret this. When you're not busy, but there's something let's I'd chat. like to ask you. Lately, I find myself spending more and more time here. Business has appealed to me, but this is exciting. Oh, right. I was afraid you were going to bring that up again. Very well. Let's see if I embarrass myself or not. My colleagues, I venture out into the darkness of space once again. Many of you have expressed concern. At my age, you say? Surely the risks are too great. Surely Sebastian Banks has earned a rest. Nonsense, I say. To go out into the unknown, to brave the possibility of never coming back, to ignite the spark of hope that humanity will find answers out there in the stars? That is all I have ever wanted. If this last expedition is my time, then I say, I have been fortunate. I have been fortunate to leave, surrounded by people who could not be more different from one another, but who share a common purpose. That, dare I say, I am fortunate. My soul has a home it can always come back to. And that, was the last thing Sebastian Banks ever said in the Lodge before he disappeared. And Constellation has been waiting for him to come home ever since. Not my first time in a hostile negotiation, as you well know. Admittedly, I usually know more about who I'm facing off against. I'm very interested in what Noel can learn from the scans. The technology on that ship was impressive, to say the least. If there's a chance, we could learn enough to duplicate some of it. That's certainly true. And it also wouldn't hurt to give Stroud Eklund an advantage in the marketplace. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. We're most well known for ship manufacturing. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covered them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Despite our differences of opinion back on Neon, I'm beginning to respect you as someone who can get the job done. I'm beginning to wonder if there's anything you can't handle. 
I'd like to test that theory. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? Love the enthusiasm. I knew there was a reason I picked you to help with this project. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. To be honest, I prefer it. I have professional designers, and obviously they can't do the job. They're floundering. And as I've seen firsthand, you dabble in all spectrums. Blue-collar work, exploration, fighting. I could go on. What better person to tell those overpaid muckety-mucks how to build a ship for the discerning consumer? Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules de Gante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you, so I'm excited to see what you manage to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. Galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. Ah, still need to lift another set today. Been dragging. Shoulder stiff. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making-do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. Double-check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. You know, the way you handle things, not bad, not bad.
Right. I was just saying how good it is to work with someone again. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Right. No worries. to go. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Oh, please, take a look.
Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for coming in. Please, take a look. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Got a moment? Let's catch up.
Welcome back. Captain, it is.
this ship. 